So I'm just going up to go and see if I can find a few places to put some traps. It's not really a ideal day to be setting traps at this time of the day. In this heat, it would be nearly 40 degrees, or at least 35 or more, 37 degrees probably. So I brought the dog with, see if he can find a few spots. We're just coming up to the scrub line here on this track goes along. See what we can find down here. Well, I might just pull up here and let the dog for, go for a walk. See what we can find. Oh, Tisha likes, likes this spot. Pretty good spot here to set a trap to the ground to be reason be loose, a bit, bit silty here. Good boy Tish. And he's got something else up here. Being a male dog though they tend to mark on nearly everything they find a smell on. But he's pretty interested in that. On this tree, so he can get a bit of shade when I'm setting these traps, and he's not getting off and stepping in anything. Just help get a bit more dog scent in the area too, so they keep a bit more interested. If they're travelling past, they might stop and have a bit of a muck around if he's been camped here for a bit. Anyway, we'll go and get a few traps in the ground and get out of here before it gets start sweating too much and dripping sweat everywhere. It's one of the worst things you can do when you're trapping is dripping your sweat on the traps and so smell you with your scent. Right, this is all the, I think I got all my gear here. I'm going to put my trap in probably about here is where he put his foot. I might just move this stuff back a bit. He's marked here, I might put one trap here and maybe another one over here, possibly. We'll just get this one in first and i not put my gloves on because I'm sweating so much today. I'm going to be using this MB750 trap. The very, very strong trap. And they've uh, got a very, very good um, pan system on them. First of all, might set the trap first to so we can get an outline of it. These ones are very strong. You can, apparently, you can even hold pigs in them. But one thing I don't like, they don't have a lazy jaw on them. So you're going to stick your fingers in there and leave that pan sticking up like that. Put the pan cover aside. I'm going to stake it down because there's so much thick scrub here. So I want the pan about there. You just try and mark the trap out so I only need to dig a hole the size for my trap. Put 
put that aside so I don't step on it. Put my hand in it. Now, take the top dirt off first. The last dirt was a fair dirt one, some people call it. That there, now you're digging. Get it all nice and loose. Thing about worst thing about trapping in black soil country is yeah, it's right if there's a bit of sandy, silty stuff here, but it's very cloddy. Right. So you might tip that dirt aside too. It is deeper dirt, it can go back in first to get the clods out of it. dripping sweat down here. I'll dig a hole deep enough underneath so I can put the stakes in underneath the trap. The least amount of dirt you can disturb the better. good area for trapping just along here. I've caught about 11 or 12 dogs here over the years just along here. Let's see on the edge of this thick scrub all along here it's they're moving in on this main track moving through all the time. good enough for him for all that. Need to make it a bit bigger yet. Oh, it stinks where he peed on the grass here. That's poo. He dropped the scat right there. I'm going to put this one here for dog walks so you know, just watch, watch Tish before he rubbed, rubbed right into this grass and peed in there and he walked through it as he was doing his scat. So, thought if he can, he put his feet right here, he walked, this is his path he walked through here. So if I can put it in the same place he walked, I might have more of a chance of getting something. Go. That should be pretty well deep enough, I think. Always like to double stake these. The dogs can pull pretty hard on them when they're struggling to get out of the trap. Last thing you want is a dog running away with your trap. It's not any cruel on the dog, but. The traps aren't cheap. Oh. Right, eh? Get that bit of dirt out of the bottom and always. 
to a cross stake like that so you hammer one in one way and one in the other and they can't they can't pull that out At least they didn't go in too hard. Well, it wasn't too hard to put them in, I mean. Right out. Get all that to stay in there. Be careful not to don't want your trap loose. Oh. Sorry for the sweat and a bit. Try and crush some of this clods up. You try and get the dirt to be bedded in you don't want to have it loose so if a dog comes and he steps on the edge you don't want any movement there because otherwise he, he feels his foot move he's not going to put it there again What I might do before I get this firm it up. One clods in there. Don't like sticking my hand in the trap. This one you haven't got a lazy jaw on it so you don't really have much choice. Just have to don't do anything stupid and think about what you're doing all the time. Reasonably firm. Get rid of those clubs. Every time I just sometimes this can give you a fright sometimes if you push it too hard, but no, just clicked in. She's set. Now is when you really don't want to get your fingers too close. Put that over the top. Just using a bit of organza, I think it's called this little light fabric for our pan cover. Uh, 
I don't put dirt too in there. Brush and brush the don't want to have your jaws buried too much, but gotta have them under enough that they Sometimes if you get a stick or something and draw a bit of a footprint. Don't know whether that really helps at all or not, but I might put a bit of a stick here to make him Step over it. There's a bit of a bit of a route off the track. That should do. And I might put something over there to try and guide him across a bit more. Actually, no, I might not. I might just leave it. Leave it like that. Sweep a bit of this other stuff in here. Don't want to. That should do, I think. If he comes through here and walks through, he might. Should hopefully step on that one. up all the, the evidence. I do carry it away so they can't smell the fresh dirt. So yeah that's how I set a trap here. Just give you a look at it's just in there. He comes in and he hopefully step over this stick. Rubs of this grass just like Tish did. And I might put another trap. Don't want to go right on the road because there's cattle in this paddock. I might go off it a bit. I might put it over. It'll be right here somewhere. So if he walks through the grass, he should step on it. Okay, this next trap I'm going to use, try not to handle it too much without gloves on, but it's a, a jake trap, but they're a pretty good trap, but I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with this one. I got myself in the, caught myself in the thumb twice in a row one morning, just setting it, and I just wasn't being careful enough, obviously, and bumped the pan and got me twice in one morning in the one trap. So, see if I can not do that again today. But they're a pretty good trap otherwise.
what I'll often do is find a bit of a bush or tree branch or something and just sweep the area with it and cover up some of the scent and footprints and Yep, there's been dogs along here since I was up here last. It was up here the other day and there's been a bit of a shower since. There's a few tracks here. Can't remember what day it was. Must, must have been not the day before yesterday, I think. So, Let's see what we can find. We'll come and check the traps tomorrow. Let's see what we can find. Good to be back in the aircon. Better not forget the dog. Good boy, Tish. What are you getting yourself in a tangle? Did you think I was going to leave you, hey? Eh? Come on, come on, hop up. Good boy. No, you don't need to be tied up here. Alright, let's go, Tish. Good boy, good boy. set a trap. Hopefully we can catch a dog in it. Set two traps in one spot, you double your chances. They come in now, I've had them come in before so many times. And they put their foot right on the edge of the near the edge of the pan, stand on the jaw and keep going. As long as they don't stand on the jaw and at the trap and it moves. Shy of off the trap, I know there's something in the ground that isn't safe and they won't stand there a second time. So if you set your traps right the first time, hopefully you only have to set them once and then pull the dog out of it when you when you come back to check them. But that's the theory. Does it always work like that? I do like to have have them set in two areas if you get two dogs off and you can sometimes you can get a double catch two dogs not far from each other I haven't had that once not far from him just up the track a little bit further from that 